Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a screen recording in the Microsoft Stream app. So here I am at office.com, Office 365, I'm logged in, and I'm going to click on the app switcher up here, also known as the waffle, and look for stream. If you don't see stream, go down here to all apps and you'll find it in here. So let's go into stream. When we land here, you're going to see a button at the top left, new recording. This is where you click to start a new screen recording. Let's go in. Hey! So the first thing you're going to see when you go in here is your own video, your own camera, because in stream you can also make a video recording much like Flipgrid or Flip, um, where you record yourself and you can have different backgrounds and effects going on. But in this video, we're going to record our computer screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and click on this button, Record Screen. And the other option you have is when you do a screen recording, if you want your video of your face in it as well, then keep this camera on. If you don't want your face in the video, you can come up here to the camera and turn it off. Okay, so now I'm going to go down to record screen and start screen recording. Also, another thing to call out, we are doing this in the browser. If you have not allowed your browser to use your video and your microphone, you'll have to click allow when that pops up. Okay, here we need to tell stream what screen we want to record. I have a screen one and a screen two. If you're just on your laptop, you'll just have a screen one. In this case, I have a second monitor, so I have a screen two as well. You also could just record a specific window that's open on your computer or you could even record a specific tab that's open in your browser. But I recommend recording the entire screen because that way it allows you to switch between windows and between browser tabs, and you'll make sure that you record all of that content. The other thing down here is share system audio. So if you want to play back video during this screen recording and have it heard, you need to make sure you're sharing the system audio or the computer audio. Okay, and then we're going to click share here. We get our countdown and now we're recording. So now I can jump to anywhere on my computer. I can open different tabs, different windows if I want down here. And I can do my little recording about how much I love YouTube and how Mike Tholfson is one of the channels that I subscribe to and make my explainer video. When I'm done, I'm going to go back to the tab that uh, where I started the recording and I'll click stop recording. Down, and now we're recording. So now here I have an opportunity to play back the video, listen to it, make sure the audio is captured and the video. If I want to do it again, I'm going to come down here to retake. All right, and then you can also add music to it if you'd like. If you want a little music in the background. But otherwise, you can just come over here and click Publish. At this point, it's going to upload to OneDrive. This video will be stored in your OneDrive on Office 365. You also have an option to download it right here, but you really don't need to do that because all you need to do is get the share link um, to and now we're recording all you need is the share link that you can copy and paste to share it with me so the way you're going to share it is you're going to come up here to share you're going to click the share option and then just type in the name of the person that you want to share this with for example if you're putting my name in there just go ahead and start typing my name and I should come up there. Then you can simply copy the link and you can then paste that into an email, into an assignment in order to share it.
One last thing to show you is if I come back here to the stream app home, I'm going to see my recording down here. You can see that I'm the owner of it. And so if you need to get back into this or share it again, you can get the share link here or click into it and view the video. And that is how you use Microsoft Stream to make a screen recording.